Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Aquariuses, their weekly love read. Aquarius, this is for the week of October 24th through the 30th. Um, I put the timestamps on the videos, guys, um, just to make sure I'm getting content out. Whenever you run across this video, it's, it's meant for you to see it at that time, so it's relevant at that time. Oh, wow. Wow, Aquariuses. Wow, wow, wubsy. <laughs> um... All those cards just fell out. You can watch me try to shuffle them, rewind it, and they all got like stuck and jammed, so I just took them all. So um, this is uh, a timeless read. Whenever you see it is when it's meant for you. Uh, if, it's also a general read. So if you feel like this is not uh, hitting the spots, if it's not making sense, check your moon or your rising signs. We're doing what's coming towards you in love. If you don't know what your moon or your rising signs are, there's a link in the description box below that you can put some information in and get your birth chart. And then there's also a link in the description box below that you could come to my personal webpage and get a personal read if you felt inclined to do so. So uh, um, what's coming towards you in love and then oracle cards and message cards um, to kind of wrap it up per usual. So, oh Lord, I like it. I like it, Aquarius. I like it a lot. Holy smokes. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to be an Aquarius right now. Um, you have something coming towards you that is so unexpected. It is a tower moment. It is going to shake your world upside down. You are coming across your your emperor, your divine masculine. Um, they want commitment. They want loyalty. They want long-term stability. They want to show you how much they love you. you got Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. They're going to want to love you and show you and have kids with you and marry you and a happily ever after fairy tale. They want emotional stability, financial stability, a blended family, house, dog, cat, happily ever after, white picket fence situation. They are your counterpart. They want to be a protector. They want to be a provider. They want to be um, taking care of you. They're your other part. And this is something you're totally not expecting, guys. Um interesting so i feel like you guys are working on really getting yourself balanced here i feel like um the justice card being here you could potentially be going through a divorce but i feel like it is much more like just getting things settled and balanced i feel like um this has kind of been a long time coming i feel like you've been a much more of a giver in a situation versus a receiver and i feel like this is kind of taking a toll and you're really working on getting your needs met in a situation you're getting yourself completely balanced you guys the the tower moment is this new start in love with a soulmate energy um that divine masculine that's on the bottom of the deck this is someone who is passionate with you this i mean just look at the card it's amazing it's got so much um romantic energy sexual energy just to like a soulmate vibe passion excitement love and it's a new start it's a new start, guys. I have not clarified anybody else's read. I want to clarify, is this a new start with an old person? Or is this a new start with a new person? But I'm not going to do that just to be fair. Um, I do feel like you're going to get, like I said, you're going to get balanced. You're going to get stable. And this is going to be like a slow-moving pace. I feel like, why do we always have to wait on divine timing, right? Um, because we don't know what the heck we're doing here. And I feel like God for my beliefs, is the one that kind of sets things up and we get what we're supposed to get, our needs met in divine timing. Um, you know, it's God's will. God's God's will will be done. And, um, you know, we have opportunities to take or not take. But I feel like um, he gives us the gifts that we receive in this world. But I do think it's going to take some time. It's a slow, steady pace. But this person coming toward you is extremely committed. They want a new, stable, committed, loyal, loving start. They want a marriage. They want a forever with you. Um, and they are so incredibly passionate about you. Um, could be a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. There's Gemini. There's pentacles. There's the Justice card, which is a Libra. There's the Tower card as well. Taurus, right? I don't remember. Um, but definitely, definitely has a lot of passion for you. There's smoldering, fiery, sexy, flirty energy. I feel like this person really will love you to pieces and give you that balance that you so desperately deserve and need, right? Like I feel like instead of you taking care of them, they're going to take care of you. And that's going to be a really different situation for you Aquarius I like it I want to be an Aquarius today all right let's get the love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot 
lickety split. I can't believe it. I just said divine timing, guys. I said that. I said that with this king of, or knight of pentacles. Divine timing is at play. I feel like maybe now is the time. Ooh, winter. Winter is the time. Right around the corner, guys. This makes me very excited for you. Strength and courage. Yeah, this is another fire sign or another potential Leo, right? We got two lions there. But I think this situation is going to require you to use your strength to be courageous because you're not used to standing up for yourself. You're used to catering to the other person. And now you're like, look, this is my new pathway. I need my knees met. I want to be in this situation, but I need to take control and make sure I'm not unbalanced anymore. This needs to be a balanced situation. We both need to work on it. We both need to want it. Um, annoyance popped out. Um, I feel like you're, pr you're probably worried that someone's going to see that as an annoyance. But if you're with your soulmate, they're going to understand that. And I think you're going to have conversations about your past and about what you've done and like, what's been given to you and what's happened to you and your soulmate's going to totally understand where you're coming from. They might help you work through it, but they're going to get it. All right, guys, let's get some messages of love oracle cards from all things intuitive. And again, these are not messages like between you and a person. It's more about um, your, your situation with this person. All right, so we have finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. We have support, lean on your inner circle during this time, and leap of faith, it is safe to make the move you are considering. So it's going to feel like everything is falling apart, or you're just going to be like, my life just got flipped and turned upside down. Pretty sure I said this to you not that long ago, Aquarius. And you're going to be like, what in the ever-loving what is happening? But it is okay to take this leap of faith. I mean, you have amazing things coming. I mean, we go even further. We have the six of pentacles underneath that, which is equal give and take. And then we have the queen of wands to go with the king of wands. That's down here. It's just a match all around, guys. The leap of faith. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Um, we're going to get a couple of angelic revelation 144 shadow soul message cards. These can be a little bit risque, a little bit blunt and direct and have some vulgar language or swear words in it. So I'm going to... Whoa, whoa. Uh, you guys get a lot. I'm going to try to like um, make it appropriate for the for YouTube. But, oh, it doesn't. I mean, okay. So soulmates, uh, obviously. I ripped my own effing heart out when I hurt you. So this could be someone that you know and have a history with. Um, I need time alone to heal my wounds. I kind of feel like that might be your words as well. So this could be a person that knows that they hurt you and they said they're ripping their own heart out when they hurt you. They're coming up as your soulmate, guys. All right, we're going to get some Alice's Romance Oracle cards from Love Exists Visions. I never met anyone like you before. I think it should be I've never. I've never met. I think you are out of my league. Yes, you are, Aquarius. Wow, you are beautiful. And then you're like, I'm still healing. I need time alone to heal my wounds. Um, but they're not going to care. They're going to come in like that tower, and then you're going to have to figure out what in the world you're going to do. All right, we're going to finish off your read, Aquariuses, with a Higher Intuitions Oracle card. These have like animals or insects on them, and they have a message as well as a message from the booklet. Oh, let it be. I don't know what that is. Is that a groundhog? Hedgehog? I don't know. <laughs> and the weird thing about this book is they have it alphabetized by the animal and not by the let it be on the card. So is it like a groundhog? I don't know what the heck that is. It's a hedgehog. Hedgehog. Let it be. Okay, so I'm going to read that. Sorry. Page 63. Okay. So the words say release and time out. And there is, um, there is a quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. With the past, I have nothing to do, nor the, with the future, I live now. Hedgehog reminds you to stop putting so much fear into your life and instead just let it be. Sometimes when you give your issue breathing room, it corrects itself. 
When we experience fear or frustration, we immediately tense up our body, mind, and spirit, which hinders the flow of what we want of what we do want to come to us. And we begin to visualize everything that we don't want instead of what we do. Shift your thoughts to what you want, not what you don't. There is a lesson in every life's test, every life test, even though it can be painful. By being grateful instead of angry, the weight of the emotion will begin to gently heal. Again, the healing is in here as well, and release itself from your grip. Therefore, if you're experiencing frustration or fear with any aspect of your life, career, money, love, etc., take a few moments each day visualizing how you would want that area to look when you begin to say, or how you want that area to look, period, sorry. When you begin to say negative things such as, I will never have money to do things I want, and say to yourself, stop, and then repeat what you do want. I have enough money to do the things I want. It takes some training, but before you know it, the things you don't want will stop happening, will begin to stop happening, and the things that you do want will start flowing. You can't hitchhike on someone else's life, and if you do, you might just get pricked instead from the hedgehog. Um, you must find your own way and do the work yourself. There's always someone there to help light the lantern, but it is you who must keep the flame lit. Always know that they are though there are those who believe in you with every dream accomplished or every even or even a dream failed. Remember that the most important thing for you is to continually dream the dream no matter what. So keep dreaming, Aquarius. You got great things coming for you. You have abundance. Like abundance on top of abundance on top. That was a lot of order. Abundance on top of abundance on top of abundance coming towards you in love. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you feel inclined to do so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good night.